Hello, my name is Megan Nolan and I help purpose-driven entrepreneurs go from being overwhelmed and exhausted to energized and empowered. And I am so excited and honored to be co-creating this Electrify Your Energy expert event to help you to regain your energy and focus and motivation with some incredible guests, including my special guest today, Louisa Havers. So let me tell you a little bit about her because she is absolutely incredible before I bring her on. So she is an internationally renowned master transformational coach, master manifesting teacher, and a master Akashic Records teacher using the soul journeys method and she's a business mentor she enables high achievers and coaches to unlock their superpowers turbocharge soul aligned magnetism and lift the ceiling in both their lives and their businesses how incredible does that sound i cannot wait for you to connect with her so let me welcome you on hello great to have you oh hi Megan hello everybody thank you so much for having me here you are so welcome thank you so much for being here I can't wait to learn and hear more about you so why don't you take us back a little bit and tell us how you got interested in all of these beautiful and so intriguing modalities life was very different um before uh, my journey, well, my background is I used to be a senior manager for social services, and I did that for about 13 years. I was doing the corporate thing, managing services um, on that old hamster wheel. And whilst on one level I loved it, I would say, because I like the challenge of it and I like creating things and developing things, we then hit a whole load of pay freezes and uh, cuts to services so it wasn't quite so fun anymore instead of creating and expanding things it was all about contraction and just felt quite stressful and there was a massive turning point when my father died um in 2004 now and what had happened was I'd seen him on the hamster wheel pushing off you know saying I'm going to to do all the things I love to do basically when I've retired and then what happened was he was ill health for a child. So he didn't get to do all the things that he wanted to do. And you know that moment where you're like, oh, my God, I'm just actually just repeating that pattern. And so that was my first wake up call. I was like, right, how on earth and what on earth am I going to do if I'm not doing this? I can't. I do not want to be doing this for the next 50 years. You know, I knew that I was feeling burnt out. And um, and so I recognized that. I just had to do something different. You know that, you know, if you carry on doing the same thing, you're just going to carry on getting the same results. I was like, I have to do something different. And this is probably one of my first manifesting things I was consciously aware of. I think, oh, that's weird. That opportunity came in because I'd just been thinking about that. <laughs> and so I'd be thinking about, I've got to give myself a pay rise. I want to start my own business. I don't know what it is. Um, and, but what could it be? What, what could this business opportunity be? This is what I need. And a, in walked a network marketing opportunity at that time and it was perfect it opened me up to wellness to energy alignment and manifesting and all the wonderful things and and that was really the start of my journey of like oh my word there's a whole world out there <laughs> and my life just expanded from from that moment and then I was like right this is my vehicle to get out of jail as it were <laughs> to get out of <laughs> the corporate rat race and so, and that was it. I, I started growing that. And once I managed to get my income to a, a certain level, I was able to reduce my hours at work. And then that was it. I was like, right, I'm off. I need to do my coaching business. And, and, and that was the real turning point. And then just started training in various energy alignment modalities and was just hooked. I was like, oh my word, everybody needs to know this stuff. <laughs> this is just life-changing. Before then, I felt like I was just sort of in a... Um, in a cage just only seeing what what um the programming that I've been given before then and then it was like <laughs> the world opened up oh I love that I love that you you saw what was happening and what did happen for your father and then had such a beautiful realization and insight for yourself and you took a different path in a different direction and so you obviously were so called and you were able to you know follow the signs and then tap into your inner guidance so that's so beautiful and I think that's 
so important when we when we think about really how we're feeling and how we're showing up in our life and our business because even as entrepreneurs we can get on that hustle hamster wheel for sure right we get this old paradigm of like you got to work hard to be successful and all these things and so that really can slow us down and, and really impact our energy and so you mentioned a few things there that i i would like to maybe dive into a little bit more and so thinking about that like what is it you know you, you mentioned that you know kind of hit that that ceiling or that level of success in your own business and you were or in your previous career actually but what is it that can block us like what are some of these um these blocks that might limit how we can move forward into our business and what is even like an energetic block because that's something that we hear a lot of right so maybe we can start with that so how would you define an energetic block and how that relates to us as entrepreneurs Yes, great question. So everything's energy. That's the first uh, way to think of it. And for me, um, the way I describe it is um, we just to kind of put some context around what a block is. So we are living in one big electromagnetic field. Our thoughts are electric. Our heart sends out magnetic waves, which make up our human Wi-Fi. So the messages that we're sending out to the universe and that we're receiving back, that's the simplest way I can describe it. And I think people relate to it because they're like, yeah, I get Wi-Fi. We're talking through Wi-Fi now. It's amazing, exactly. isn't it? <laughs> There's no wires attached to my computer, but somehow we're connected through across waves <laughs> going across literally the opposite end of the world. It's amazing, isn't it? Dark here, light there. Um, and, and so an energetic block is in our energy field where our our thoughts and emotions are hanging out. They can hang out as blocks within our body. We can start to, if we listen to our body, our body's speaking to us all the time about where there may be an emotional or belief block. So the easiest way to think of it is to think of energetic blocks as beliefs, emotions, energetic resistances, like blobs of energy that are literally not allowing us to flow as we could in terms of our human Wi-Fi, so that our our vibration isn't as full of vitality and as magnetic as it could be, and so it's, it can start to feel like we've got this <laughs> sludge <laughs> um, in our body slowing us down. But for people that are really new to this, I would you know stick with its thoughts and emotions and beliefs that are hanging out in your energy field that are these blocks that are stopping us from breaking through those upper limits in life. I love that. And that's a great analogy that we can all understand. So like going back to the Wi-Fi, you know, so say there's a storm surrounding you and it impacts the quality of your Wi-Fi signal. So if you have that energetic block within you and that static and that old belief or old programming, that's affecting and impacting the signal that you're sending out into the world and therefore impacting how you're showing up in your business and how you're feeling. So does that align with what you're saying? Exactly it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I like that. You know, and, and think of it like I'm looking at my Wi-Fi signal, you know, and it's kind of universal. Think of it when you see the bars dropping to the bottom and it's kind of fluttering. <laughs> it's exactly. It's like, oh, hang on a second. What is it? What do I need to do? Because for some reason I need to um, I'm not hitting the, the goal in life or whatever it may be that we're wanting to go. And we can feel that, yeah, the bars have got low. <laughs> the bars are low. And I'm on the struggle bus right now. And it's just everything feels hard hard right and that's when when we're in that place when we're feeling super drained energetically mm -hmm. or you know we're kind of all over the place distracted so that's really what you're speaking to is how we can you know unplug the wire of the of the wi-fi and reset the signal and then reboot so let's talk about how maybe some tips that we can use to release some of these blocks so we can get back in the flow and charge our signal back up Yes, exactly. So I think for me, the first thing that um, the tip that I would share is because we create our reality in line with our identity. So the subconscious beliefs and the programs that we are all running and creating these blocks. If if the Wi-Fi is low, <laughs> um, then I would invite people to check in on your identity and to think about, OK, so where is this resistance bubbling up? Where have I not really embodied this identity? of where I am going, because every new level, whether it's moving from corporate to a, a business or running a business that's bringing in 10K a month, 20K a month, whatever it may be, wherever anyone is at their, in their business, as we expand and grow, it's gonna take a new identity. And so often the resistance can come up 
around actually we haven't fully embodied this new identity we're not really prepared to let go of this old version of ourselves and so it starts to create this there's re- this resistance and, and drain our energy because mm-hmm. it takes a lot of energy to actually hold on to the old version of ourselves if that makes sense that so this is where we really we want to you know get rid of the the sticky emotions the beliefs that have been holding us back the old paradigms um and it all starts with our identity um and so the second tip that links to that is in relation to finding out okay so underneath this identity that i'm hanging on to what are the subconscious blocks the emotions and the beliefs that are holding me back and the the and often um i'm smiling because Um, often we know the stories we're telling ourselves that's this story that's acceptable to ourselves that we've bought into that this is the reason why that we're in the situation that we're in but actually it's when you start to find out what's going on in the subconscious which is like the story behind the story that might not be so easy to find is that's where the magic happens and you can start to uh, to change the energy around that and this is why I love my so my tip my second tip to help release or identify the blocks is muscle testing and um, this the one that I love to do there's lots of different ways to do muscle testing the one that I love to do is using your body as a dousing device so you literally it's called the sway test um, so you stand um, stand up I don't know if you can see my hand and basically when you ask your body a question um, you'll get typically get a, a forward sway as a yes and a backward sway as a, as a no. And it I love it when people do it for the first time because they're like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> um, but to do to for anybody listening that wants to do a quick muscle test, you literally you can do it standing up or sitting down on the edge of your seat. You give yourself a quick thymus thump just to, you know, get all your energies uh, aligned just for 15 seconds, just breathing in nice and calmly and breathing out. And then just tell your subconscious, go, right, we're going to go forwards for a yes and backwards for a no. And then you can do some baseline tests, like saying things that you know to be true. So, you know, my name is Louisa Havers. And actually, it helps if you have your eyes closed as well, because then you're not sort of focused on anything like you would. uh, If you're trying to balance on something, you fix on a focus point. So you close your eyes. And if I say my name is Louisa Havers. After a moment or two, my energy is going to naturally go forwards. And then if I say something that's not true, like my name's Garfield, my energy is naturally going to just start to pull back. And so I always invite people to get a baseline, say things that, you know, test it out with, like I live in this X, Y, Z road, I'm 48 years old or whatever it might be. Try some yes answers and some no answers. And then (laughs) once you're confident with the muscle testing is... This is where you can use it to really pinpoint the block that is holding you back. Um, And the questions, the answers are in the questions, really, because it's how you ask the question. So I wanted to give people a a, a hack that they can use because often we can find split beliefs. So we can actually have the opposite. So, for example, we could have a belief of, let's say, I deserve to have 10K months consistently. I'm undeserving of having 10K months consistent. We can actually have both beliefs. And so if you stop on one, you're going to think, oh, I'm all good. Yeah, I'm fine. It's not that one. Mm. Subconscious has gone, aha. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, so, all right. We can stay hidden because you can have hidden resistances as well. So I like to muscle test for both to see if somebody's holding different um, sort of polarizing beliefs because you can have them in different parts of your of your energy field trying to keep it keep it simple um so i would write down you know what is the goal that you want to um achieve and then see if you've got some resistance in relation to that and saying a statement like i am worthy of x y and z i am unworthy of x y and z i'm deserving of x y and z i'm undeserving of x y and z and that will help you to start to kind of find out okay so what is going on have i got polarizing beliefs Am I all good in that area? Because often it is the the desire as we're moving to whatever, to create whatever it is we want to create. If there's any resistance, that's when there's procrastination kicks in, low energy kicks in, just don't feel like doing it, I'm tired, you know, all those things. And actually it's because our subconscious is just trying to keep us safe and not moving forward. (laughs) <laughs> and this is why I love muscle testing because it's a great way to to find out what's really going on and then 
that leads me to my third tip, which is, of course, once you've found out what's going on, you want to let go of the energetic block. It's like you don't want it hanging around there. So the first bringing it to your awareness is really the first way of dissolving dissolving the um, the energetic block and, and being in that. Oh, that's interesting. I've got some resistance there and observing it and then letting it go is through the intention and saying saying to yourself, you know, I'm letting this resistance go across all levels of my consciousness. So you're covering all aspects of your human Wi-Fi. I like to be really intentional with this and to do breath work with it. So just breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energies that no longer serve and just saying, you know, I'm letting this resistance go. I'm letting this procrastination that's preventing me from achieving X, Y, and Z, whatever it may be, just releasing it across all levels of my consciousness. And then just really allowing yourself to notice what your energy feels like as you as you let it go. And I love doing this with people because as they start to, to really tune in and allow themselves to notice how their energy responds as they're really intentional with like, do you know what? That belief doesn't serve me. It can do one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on, on your bike. And then because <laughs> we've taken that energy and taken that belief and said, right, that one can go. Then we want to imprint onto the human Wi-Fi a new belief that's going to serve us. That's key. It's a bit that people can often forget. So this is where we're choosing a new script, one that's in alignment with your values, one that's in alignment with the future self, your identity. And so that you're in a, and in a space where your ego knows that it's it's safe to imprint this one. So being really intentional, like I'm I'm ready to allow myself to receive this 10K uh, with easy speed. I'm ready, allow my, uh, ready to allow myself to get things done with easy speed, whatever it may be. And again, just being really intentional with the breath work and just allowing yourself to feel how these words land on your energy field so that you can so that you can embody them and they in turn then start to as you're doing this work recreate your identity and that's the loop of being able to okay so we've got the identity at the top we're working on the thoughts and emotions and beliefs as we transform that that means that we change our behavior and then our emotions change our beliefs change and our identity changes mm. that was a whistle stop tour of <laughs> the tips <laughs> Does that mean like a whirlwind? Yeah. <laughs> no, I loved it. That was brilliant because there was so much gold in there. And I love that you not only helped us with recognition and I loved it that the muscle testing, I literally could feel that like whoop, leaning forward, leaning back. And then when we were doing the clearing and there was so key about, we need to get down to, undercovering, uncovering, excuse me, what are those beliefs that are really the ones causing the resistance, that are causing the procrastination, the perfectionism, the high achieving, the all of it, that are the self-protective mechanisms of the subconscious mind, but beginning yeah. to clear them, which is so powerful and beautiful. But as you mentioned, and we all likely heard that nature abhors a vacuum. So, you know, it will fill that. And so if you clear the belief, we want to create that more empowering and aligned one. So that is so much gold in there. Thank you so much. So, so many tools. I can't wait to hear what people take away from this and start to implement and, and to use. So let's, um, I wanted one more question that, you know, we're talking about all these things that we can do that are helping us to move forward and really get back to that space of alignment and energetic excitement and joy and trust. And so when we start to move forward, when we've got all that stuff out of the way, we get to move forward and then we start to maybe boom, bang up against an upper limit that we have for ourselves. And that might be something that people are already at, that is that stage that they're already at, that that's what's causing that like, I don't know. And it, again, kind of perpetrating the resistance. So can you let me know and let everyone know one of the, the biggest myths that you have encountered with people that really kind of is that, is what is holding us back from breaking through that upper limit and moving towards our fulfillment and our ultimate destiny? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things I've heard from clients, which is where they doubt that they're going in the right direction because they can feel all the resistance. So the myth, I guess, is that I'm feeling the resistance, so therefore I shouldn't be doing this. And um, I, I think that that is a massive myth because 
so often it's it's because we are about we're stepping out of our comfort zone the subconscious mind hasn't got the sat nav for this particular route so it's normal <laughs> for the resistance to, to to bubble up um and so anywhere that people have been really passionate about something and then suddenly don't feel like doing it anymore that's when they can start to question themselves um or they suddenly feel like they you know um they've distracted themselves or they you know haven't got the energy um they're feeling confused or overwhelmed by something they can think this means i shouldn't be doing this that's a huge myth this i i would invite people to reframe it and think this means i'm going in the right direction the work to do is to soothe the ego to soothe the nervous system so it feels safe so you have that clarity of thought so that you know okay so i'm going to be able to i'm now in this the space where i get to find out the next level of healing so that I can let the blocks go and the egoic resistance go. I think that I, I distinguish between egoic resistance and resistance created by limiting beliefs, etc. because the egoic resistance is just trying to keep us safe. So bless it, it's trying to do a good job. It means that you're likely to be going in the right direction because it's freaking out <laughs> because you're about to go to that next level and to, whether it's having more visibility because you're going to make a bigger impact by delivering your services in a different way or whatever it, whatever it may be. So I think that's one of the biggest myths is people seeing resistance as a, a sign that they're going in the wrong direction. And my invitation is to flip it and see it as a sign that you're going in the right direction. And the gift is, you know, in the healing work that you get to do. Mm, I love that. And I, I think I've seen that a lot with myself previously and a lot of my students as well, that it's kind of that like, oh no stop it means you gotta stop and that's literally like you said is your ego and your you know your inner self that's your okay wait this is new this is scary don't go over there stop right now you know and so I've, I've this is an opportunity to lean in and often those moments you know of course and that's where our intuition comes in it's like okay no this is a hot stove moment don't do that you know we trust that that it will you know prevent us from issues or injuries, et cetera. But when we have that internal resistance, that's often the time you're saying, often the time when we get to lean in and get to be curious and start to recognize, okay, this might be part of the up-leveling process that I get to start to really tap in and use the tools that Luisa has been sharing. So that's beautiful. Thank you so much. You have shared so much gold and so many nuggets and this has just been incredible. And so I wanna wrap up by asking you one question. So a lot of people have heard the quote from the amazing Jim Rohn talking about how our ultimate success, which is inevitable for all of you, boils down to about 20% strategy and 80% inner awareness and mindset. So what has been your go-to tool for helping to realign and helping to, you know, step back into that empowering mindset that you like to use? Oh, so my, this is how I coach my clients to start all their, you know, mornings and any manifesting rituals that they're, that they're doing is to connect with their higher self. And there's a really simple way that you can do this is to visualize about 18 inches above your crown, your soul star chakra, like a blue pearl, clairvoyantly, it's a blue pearl. And to bring your awareness to that point, and it can also help um, to put your hand on your heart, so you're connected with your soul star chakra, and your um, and your heart chakra, and then through breath work, so breathing in for four, holding for four, and then breathing out for eight, so that you're and doing that three times with the intention to connect with your higher self. What you're doing is you're charging up your life force energy and it's opening up that spiritual cord of connection. And I just love doing this as a way of connecting in with that inner aware awareness and allowing and very intentionally allowing my higher self to lead <laughs> because she's got that overview that this little human version of me hasn't got. And so that I just absolutely love just to bring back to center to make sure that I'm in alignment with the decisions that I'm making and so that um, I've got that guidance coming through from my higher self. Oh, I love that. I love it. So you're bringing the spiritual aspect and combining it with the human, right? Because we are beautiful spiritual beings having a human experience. And so what an empowering tool. What a beautiful start to your day. 
and a reset that you can do so quickly and so intentionally. So thank you for sharing that. That's incredible. So you have given us so many tools to dial up our inner world. Always still testing and learn to come back to that place of curiosity and tapping in and whoop, my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for sharing your magic with us today. And so I know that you have a special gift to share with everyone. So would you like to share and tell us a little bit about that? Oh, I'd love to. So I have a emerald uh, green waterfall meditation. It's a guided distance healing meditation for peace, vitality and confidence. So it's something that you can listen to as many times as you like. I highly recommend it. It will soothe your energetic field, remove, remove stress energies so that you have peace that you have that vitality and confidence. So I hope that everyone loves it and it supports you. Oh, I love that. And I will definitely recommend that you all get that. I started my day listening to one of Luisa's meditations and I can tell you it was such a brilliant and beautiful way to start my day and she clearly has amazing tools and gifts and a very soothing calming energy so definitely grab that because it is going to just do some wonderful things for you on every level so thank you so much Louisa it's been so beautiful to chat with you today thank you for having me thank you everybody for listening Oh, beautiful. Well, thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you, everybody, for listening and being part of this incredible event. So now that you have all of these tools, what are you committed to taking action on? What are you going to try? Are you going to try the muscle testing? Are you going to connect to your star seed chakra? What is it? So come over into the Energized and Empowered Entrepreneur community and comment on the post of the day and let us know what your big takeaway was, if you had any insights or ahas or anything that really opened up for you from this session today and share it with us because not only is that you beginning to take some action forward. It's you taking the tools and beginning to integrate them into yourself, which is so, so important. So, so important. So please do that because you know when you do, not only are you moving forward on your journey, realigning to your highest self, which we've been speaking to, you're also eligible to win. Every time you do that commenting, you're eligible to win the beautiful collective of the grand prize of the special gifts from each one of the guest experts that is, again, Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for you to see it because there's so much gold in there. So definitely comment and let us know what you're taking away from this. And remember that you do have up until Friday, November 5th to watch all of the videos as many times as you want. And I know there was so many nuggets in here. So I know that you're definitely going to go want it go back and watch this over again because that's one of the things that very successful and aligned people do is go back and be curious, right? And look for little nuggets that you maybe missed on the first go. So you have them until Friday, November 5th to watch all of the videos as many times as you would like. And again, thank you, Louisa. And thank you everybody for being part of this incredible event. And until we see you again, take good care. Bye-bye.